Once we have a basic understanding of ratios, we can use our knowledge of that to compare ratios. Sometimes we have a problem such as, well, Joe and Sherry are trying to see who's going to win the battle to read the most books. Um, and at the rate that Joe's going, he's reading three books every one and a half weeks. And he's pretty proud of that fact. Sherry, on the other hand, is reading four books every two weeks. So that's the rate that they've come up with, that they've figured out. So we want to find out, well, who's going to read more books. When we are comparing ratios, and in tables like this, we want to be able to get to a point where we can compare the same thing. That was kind of a long sentence. So we want to compare the same thing, whether we can compare books or weeks. We want to continue the table till we get the same amount of books with their rate or the same amount of weeks. And then we'll be able to say, oh, in three weeks, Joe reads this many books, Sherry reads this many books, and make an apt comparison. So let's continue out this table using the rates that they have provided us. So Joe reads three books every one and a half weeks. That means this is one and a half weeks, so let's continue on that table. I'm going to go the next step, three plus three, okay, plus three to six, plus one and a half is three. So he reads six books every three weeks. Now, let's continue that, plus three, plus three, I could continue on plusing three on the top, because that's the rate, then plus one and a half on the bottom. That's as far as I've taken my table, and that will actually be all right. Okay, So that's the table that we've completed for Joe. We've added three on top each time, and added one and a half on bottom each time, because that's our rate, the comparison of books and weeks. Okay, Sherry over here, comparison of books to weeks, four for every two weeks. So on this, we're going to add four every time. Okay, eight, we're going to add two on the bottom every time. Four, okay, do we have it an eight up here? Nope, do we have a four over here? Nope, we still can't compare them like that. So let's move on. Okay, and I have a 12, oh, excellent. I see a 12 over here with Joe, and I see a 12. We have the same Thing that we can compare. Oh, 12 books, how fast does Joe read 12 books versus how fast does Sherry read 12 books. So we will just continue this, plus 2, and we have 6. Now as we look at this comparison, Joe reads 12 books in 6 weeks, Sherry reads 12 books in 6 weeks. I think in 6 weeks they'll have a pleasant surprise that like, wait a second, we're the same and one of them will need to pick it up and get that. And I can just continue that by reading that. Now, if we wanted to throw in a unit rate, that is something that we could do pretty quickly. Uh, four books for every two weeks. Write that as a ratio, four to two, and just simplify that, which equals two books for every one week. And Joe is the same. I really wouldn't go to three and one and a half. I might come up to six and three, six books for every three weeks, and that simplifies very easily to two books for every week. So that's a quick show of how to compare ratios using tables.